Hey, Michael from CTW here, and we wanted to share with you a little longer video to talk about rod force. Try to get you a little better understanding. We get the question a lot. People wonder, know what it really is, why we're measuring it, why we're taking it out. And we talk about that in a little video, show you how it runs on the dyno, show you what we mean. So I'm sure you all know, you've all done this. You push on the damper shaft, and it pushes back out. That is what we call rod force. That is what we're trying to measure. Why is it happening? You know, the, the shaft is going in, displaces fluid, compresses the gas. When you let it go, it pushes it back out. This uh, bell stain's an emulsion shock, so there's no dividing piston. It's just got an amount of nitrogen in there. So it's pretty easy to push, low drag. Pretty nice shock. Uh, probably feels good on the race car. This damper does have a chamber. You can see this one's a little bit harder, and I'm a little weaker, and it pushes out, got some rebounds, so it comes out a little slower, but same thing. When you let it go, that shaft is being pushed out with some force. Now that's important in the overall running a dyno, getting a graph. We want to measure that. We want to measure it, write it down, and then we want to remove it from the dynamic collection. Why do we remove it from the dynamic collection, you'll ask? And We'll go through that. So basically, you put your dampers on the car, on the motorcycle, whatever rod force is pushing out, pushes the car up, pushes the motorcycle up. You adjust that out of the equation by changing the ride, the ride heights. So change the ride heights, you take up for that. You can imagine if instead of putting 100 PSI in here, you would have put 500 in here. You would have to take out more turns to get the same ride height. So the shock that rod force is affecting the vehicle, affecting the ride height. When you put it on the car and scale it, you actually take that out of the equation. That's exactly what we want to do on the dyno rod. We want to run at the velocities. We want to measure the rod force, but we want to take it out because it's really, if you think about it, it's a static force. It's a constant force. It's a spring is really what it is. So we're going to run the dyno here and we'll show you how we do that with the probe software. This is an RD10, and when we do rod force, we will come up to mid-stroke, stop, and we measure the load cell. We go over to the other side, and we stop, and we measure the force on the load cell. So we have those two forces, we add them together, divide by two, and we call that that average rod force number. We write it down so it's in your report, and then we take it out of the data. Because what we want you to look at when you're running your, your constant velocity test, your PVP test, uh, all the velocities you want to run, we want you to really look at the dynamic effect of the shock. We don't want that spring force caused by the rod pushing out. You take it out of the car, we want to take it out of the data. But again, we write it down so you have it. You can look at it in the future. You can even, in the software, put it back in and you see pretty simply that it offsets the graph by a that static rod force number so all right so we we told you we write down the rod force and we want to show you this is the same shock we just ran it twice and if you go in the probe software and you uncheck that button that means put the rod force back in all it does is move it up that static amount that's why we know it's just a static force it's it's just a spring. It's not part of the overall damping. You could see if you put the rod force in and you thought you had too much compression and not enough rebound, you would start changing the shock, but that's not the case. It's just that static force pushing that shaft back out. Take it back out and everything's good. Just wanted to share that with everybody, show you how we do it, make you think a little bit more about what's going on. Thank you. Follow us on Facebook and YouTube, CTW Automation.